what it do budget crew welcome back to another video and finally guys another detail video it's been so long since i've done another a, a detail like an actual detail video so i'm going to be recording everything um this is the car i'm going to be working on we're going to do a full detail well you know to the best of my abilities i'm going to detail fully detail the interior uh the engine bay get a good look Uh, not too bad. Nice looking Yukon. Alright. Back. I'm gonna clean all this guys. It's it's the small things that count, honestly. It's the little things that the little things that really matter. So we're gonna just fix these little clips for the customer. Um clean all that rear vacuum all this take all this trash out yeah it's not too bad a lot of big stuff but you know should be should clean up really easily oh these coins i'm gonna uh, separate these and put them in little ziploc baggies for them and write down the amount <laughs> Yeah, guys, so first things first, I'm going to get started with um, all the big trash. I'm going to go ahead and get a bag and just start removing all the big stuff. All right, guys, so just so you guys can see all this little gooey stuff. The money here is actually really sticky. Uh, it's not that that sticky, but, you know, it does have some little bit. I should probably be wearing gloves. It's not uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't mind, but yeah, it's just money. We are gonna wash our hands afterwards. But. All right, guys, check it out. I went ahead and removed all the big trash. There's a lot of water bottles in there. All the big trash inside here too. All the trash dumps in here. I went ahead and removed this middle piece as well, where all the coins were. A lot of the coins were. Uh, uh, stuck on there, you can see the little marks Look like the gooey stuff, but um Yeah, so we got all the big stuff out. We're ready to uh, start vacuuming the interior So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Vacuum up the inside actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna vacuum it up and then I'm gonna start uh, cleaning the plastics and stuff. It's okay if we get some stuff over. That way, you know, if I do end up seeing more trash and stuff, I'll just give it another quick pass with the vacuum. But yeah, guys, so I'll be back with you guys once I'm done vacuuming this. And hope you guys don't mind. Let me know in the next video if you guys, cause I'm gonna be detailing other cars. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna see me actually doing all the work or you know, you guys okay with me just jumping uh, from clip to clip and showing you guys the updates because um, I kind of don't want to be wasting a lot of time just recording me. Uh, but if you, if you guys don't mind, if you guys like watching that, let me know. I'm, you know, I don't mind. I'll, I'll record myself doing all that. But yeah, let me know, guys. All right, guys. So we are done vacuuming the entire uh, Yukon. That's the rear side. Show you guys the back seats. Now all the plastics, everything's still dirty, but the carpets, everything, all the trash is clean. Uh, make sure guys, oh yeah, well, just, you know, put the seats down, vacuum in between the cracks. So all this right here, like I said, guys, it's the small things that, that really, you know, all the small things together just really add up. And they actually do matter a lot so same with the seats guys make sure you scoot them up all the way when you're vacuuming the back and then scoot them all the way back when you're vacuuming the front so you can access all that area now um, customer does not have any floor mats so I really did my best to uh, get every single little piece of dirt out or any rock you know everything I could possibly see you know I made sure I cleaned it Vacuum these, still gotta clean them. They do got some like sticky residue. 
all around. Make sure we clean the door jams really good. I vacuumed in between the little silicone, the little rubber here. You gotta hit this with some soapy water, some warm water. Uh, let me show you guys the driver's side. Driver's side, same thing. Cleans those. Put that junk right there, so I'm gonna have to spray it with warm water and hit it with the detail brush. I removed this one as well. A lot of sticky stuff there. The rear plastics too. All this, we're gonna hit this with a, a soapy water, warm soapy water in the brush. In here too, I vacuumed this, but all that dirt and stuff is like stuck on there from like something that they spilled. Got some more junk here. All right, guys, so let me clean the lens real quick. I went ahead and uh, this was already empty. So it's just water, warm water and soap in here. Um, got my detail brush, a clean microfiber towel, and I'm just gonna spray the whole, all these black pieces. And uh, I'm gonna let this soak right here. So all that little junk could just uh, break up and uh, I can vacuum it up. So um, I'm just gonna hit this back piece, get a good look at it. And I'll be back with you guys with the results once I'm done. So basically I'm just gonna spray it on there, hit it with the brush to agitate all that dirt and uh, really get in between these cracks. And then I'm gonna hit it with the dry uh, microfiber towel to clean it up. And then after that, once we're done cleaning all the plastics, we're gonna go ahead and start conditioning them with the uh, interior protectant that we have. All right, guys, welcome back. So we, uh, well, I I went ahead and uh, finished uh, cleaning all the interior plastics with uh, just warm soapy water. I hit them with the detail brush and then I wiped it down with the clean microfiber towel um everything's done just need to hit all the plastics and all the leather seats with the leather protectant and the trim plastic protectant so got the rear plastics uh these are they're pretty scratched up i mean there's nothing i can do about that you know those are actually like deep scratches into the plastic uh, cleaned all these and one thing i I, I tried to get the microfiber towel, like the little corner piece. So I opened the handle, clean it off from all inside and then right inside there. Cause like I said, guys, it's the small details. It's all the little things that count. Clean the, these little plastics, the seats. Just had to hit these with the leather protectant. Got the driver's side. Hit the pedals, all these little plastics, the gate, the cluster, all the little, each little thing. Make sure that's clean. This right here, that's where the coins were at. You guys saw it was all sticky. Now it's just, it doesn't go on like flush. It's weird. I tried to get it on there, but it doesn't want to. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that. Centerpiece. I, I, I went ahead and vacuumed all this, all that's already like just stuck on there, but I vacuumed it all and I put all their personal belongings inside a little bag and clean this as well. Inside. Wipe the whole dash. Very nice. So now guys, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, Start wiping all the seats with the leather protectant and I'm gonna hit the all the plastics with that protectant as well. And I'll be back with you guys. It should look the same, all clean, but it's gonna be a lot more, a little bit more shinier. Not too bad. All right, guys, starting again from the back, I went ahead and uh, hit all the plastics with that uh, interior uh, plastic protectant. Hit that, hit this top piece. Like I said, guys, you guys remember how that looked before? It's the little things that count. And this is just the inside, guys. We haven't even washed the outside yet. Uh, I picked up the car like around 7 a.m., got there like at 7.30. And it's like almost, I think it's like 11 o'clock already. So three hours just cleaning the interior. 
I went ahead and uh, hit them with the leather protectant. All the interior, all the plastics as well. Inside plastics, not the outside ones like these. Let me show you guys the other side. So you guys remember all that gunk that was there? That's all gone. Very nice. So now we're almost done with the inside. Um, just gotta clean like the the mirrors, the in, the windows from the inside, and then that will be it for the interior. Now we can go ahead and focus on the exterior. Finally, or actually, not even the excuse me, not even the exterior. I'm gonna uh, clean the engine bay real quick. Um, this is not gonna be like a full on detail of the engine bay. We're just gonna give it a quick wipe down, you know? So all the plastics, uh, we're, we're gonna avoid a lot of the electrical components. Uh, we're gonna just stick to the plastics, these hoses. We're gonna spray them down with soapy water, uh, hit it with the brush and wipe them down and then hit them with the, um, not not that spray, I have the other one, the trimmer store. It's like a little, like a little lotion that you apply on there and it doesn't, it doesn't um, leave that oily residue that attracts dust. So it'll actually leave it looking really good. Yeah, I cut it good before. And I'll be right back with the after. All right, guys, check it out. This is just from a quick wipe down, guys. Uh, uh, spray it down with soapy water, hit it with the brush again, clean microfiber towel, dry it out. And um, now we're ready to apply the um, the trimmer store. So it brings back the, the, the color in the plastic. So as you guys can see, the main, just the main thing when I do uh, engine bays is get all the plastics, guys. All the reservoirs, those things stand out a lot. Um, what else? The sides. And like I said, guys, just make sure you get all the plastics, the hoses too. Like it or not, it makes a difference when you uh, degrease it. And then when you hit it with the trimmer star, just a little bit, it'll bring back a little bit of the color in the hose. And you guys will see the difference right now. So get a good look and I'm gonna apply the trimmer store all around on the plastics so you guys can see the difference all right so real quick before I get started this is the trimmer store I'm gonna be using I've used this before and I've stuck with it ever since guys this works really really good honestly I feel like Meguiar's products are way better than the armor all that's just my opinion and from my personal experience um, you know, that's tire shines, cleaners, you know, trim store. I've just had better luck with the Meguiar. So, you know, starting now, I'm going to stick with Meguiar's until I find something better. But for now, guys, for me, I recommend Meguiar's. Their products are really, really good. Uh, yeah, guys. All right, guys, and check it out. Look at that shine. Looks really, really good. And... The cool thing is it looks shiny, but like no residue. My hand is dry or it's not oily, but yeah, just about done with the engine bay. So now we can finally get to the um, exterior of the Yukon and start washing it. This thing's massive guys, really huge. All right, you guys already know the drill. Went ahead and uh, just rinsed the, rinsed the whole truck down. Just uh, sprayed water on it. And we're gonna start off by cleaning the rims. Um, you, if you guys remember, before I used to use that dollar, uh, that LA, that LA is totally awesome or something like that. Uh, that's higher degreaser. Um, but I did show you guys previously um get the wear and tire cleaner from dd's discounts i got it for like 2.99 i had bought like three bottles this is the last one so uh just gonna spray it down to uh let it degrease the tire and the rim we're gonna hit it with the tire brush and we can uh um 
rinse it down. So we're gonna do the same thing to all four of them and then we can actually start finishing the outside of the car once we clean the wheels. Uh, another thing that I, I got is this. I got this at um, AutoZone, it was like five bucks. And guys, this is like way easier because before I didn't have it, so I would just use my hands. And after a while, your fingers start to hurt. So this is a lot easier and a lot faster because you can just, you know, get in there and do what you gotta do. But yeah, I'll be right back with you guys once we're done degreasing these uh, wheels and, and tires. Nice, it's coming along nicely. All right, guys, so we are just about done washing this Yukon. Um, just finishing up some little details, uh, like the trim on the sides. Look at this, look how, how dirty and faded that is. That's after me washing it and it's still just drying and it's all faded. I put some of that trim restore, just so you guys can see the difference on this side. Look at that. That looks way, way better. Compare that to this over here all faded you know it looks really good guys like i said it's the little stuff like that that really like just everything you know everything is just so important take your time do it right you know do the best you can at least i always do so um yeah guys gonna finish everything up and i'll give you guys a complete walkthrough right now once we're done uh you know applying the tire shine and all that stuff all right guys check it out we are officially done with this detail got the engine bay looking nice and shiny very nice let's see we got wheels looking nice and shiny wheels and tires interior looking mint very nice Sorted out all their money there. Well, it's my uncle, but <laughs> nice. Interior, wow, guys. Compared to how it was, you know, heck yeah. Very nice. You guys seen all that sand and dirt that was in, embedded into the, the carpet, guys. I picked up this car, like I said, at 7. Like 7 a.m., like 7.10, because I was there a little bit late. But um, I didn't finish cleaning the interior to 7, 8, 9, 10, like around 11 or almost 11, yeah. It took me like three hours to clean the inside, but it was worth it. Looks really good. Like I said, guys, small details. So I was, made, I was, I was sure to clean all of that, all of the little rubbers all around, guys. You know, nice, looks really good. You open the door and everything is clean. You see, looks really good. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, that's it for this detail video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna watch the whole process of me, you know, detailing you know vacuuming and every single little thing let me know i don't mind recording it you know but this did take a long ass time this was a big truck it did take like i said it, did, it took me three hours just to clean the inside so um yeah guys let me know so with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace